Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show as we count down towards the weekend and what a weekend of sport we have ahead of us. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, it has been an incredible week. Why? Because the World Cup has been a feast of goals and unbelievable action. I have joining me this morning Nathan Palser, who has been on a bit of a layoff and I'm sure is very eager to be getting back into season's training, which, as I understand it, is right around the corner. How are you doing? How's recovery going on the injury? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing well, Graham. Morning. Um, yeah, I've, I've had a up. In, 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 in a March month, uh, I've been in the, in the gym doing, doing rehab. I'm feeling, feeling good. I'm feeling uh, strong. I'm uh, eager for this, for this new, new, new uh, season. You know, well, so, yeah. Yeah, new season indeed, new coach at the helm. I'm sure a new culture being introduced. How is the, the mindset in the Ajax camp after, a, a, let's say, a mediocre year um, past? Yeah, yeah, I know it was a, a, a tough year, you know, but uh, um, I think we are ambitious. Ambitious, ambitious uh, club. We've, we've always, always, always been. You know, uh, it's, 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 it's a time to get, um, to get back amongst the top uh, teams. You know, it's, it's long overdue. Well, as a striker, if you ever needed inspiration, this World Cup has been unbelievable. I think yeah. one of the best starts that we've seen in, in recent years. What stood out for you so far? Um, I think the, the um, attacking um, attitudes have been. Uh, uh, top, you know. I mean, it's it's everyone is is, is uh, going for that um, for that for that uh, win, you know, uh, you know, uh, giving it all, you know, and that that's been uh, um, exciting for for me as a, a an uh, attacker. You know, I we're enjoy. seeing this the, a, a culture of counter striking, um, you know, people being harried on the ball in a way that. Um, we don't see normally in World Cups where generally the nerves override and, and people take a back seat. I think when you talk about attacking football last night, we had the opportunity to see one of the greatest strikers, obviously, of the English Premier League this year, but certainly, I think, potentially one of the greatest strikers of this World Cup, Luis Suarez, had England's number. Yeah, no, he's just that, 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 and that uh, star, you know, he's a, a world-class uh, player and you, 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 you need that, you know, at uh, an uh, event. You know, as the as the World World Cup, you know, it's a huge event, and he's a huge uh, player. Uh, he just seems to be able to find impossible angles at the moment, and and he obviously took a lot of his inside knowledge coming out of the English league, playing against some of his his teammates in that side. Where did it fall down for England for you? Um, I think to be to be uh, fair to them, the 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 forward line is is is, is quite um, quite good. Uh, it was the the uh, back. Backline that's that's been their um, Achilles heel a bit, you know. So uh, yeah, they are presumably on their way out. Although it's still a glimmer of a hope, um, according to how games play out today. Um, then lastly, Africa's great hope. I think um, Ivory Coast looking incredibly strong at the moment, not going their way against Colombia yesterday. Out of the African sides, we've seen one go out. Who do you think is the strongest contender? Um, Ivory Coast. Uh, and then, and then, then Ghana, you know, they, they've, um, they've approved it uh, in, 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 in 2010, you know. Uh, so, yeah, they, they my, my, my uh, hopes for Africa, you know, so hopefully they can, they can uh, spring a, a surprise. You know? Well, we've seen a few surprises, our world champions going out. Spain, you never want to see your defending champions exit before we've gone into the knockout stages. Yeah, I know, look, I mean... <sighs> I don't know if it's a, if it's a end of of the of the of the of of the of the rain. Yeah. Um, but let's let's hope they can they can uh, they can uh, pick up you know because you know to to um, to lose uh, one no is uh, fine but to lose five five one and um, two no it takes a bit of a a, um, a blow to the ego you know so. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure of the entire nation. Well, we're going to have a, um, a further World Cup chat about some of the fixtures coming up this weekend. Nathan Balser, thank you so much for joining us Please. from Ajax Cape Town. Well, we are expecting a plethora of sport this weekend. Netball is again going to reign supreme here in South Africa with a fantastic inbound turn. Leanne's got the details.